Are you someone who is an aspiring data professional, be it data engineering, data science, business analyst, data analyst, or whatever profile it is? We all know one thing is going to be really common among these job profiles. That is SQL, which is the heart of data, big data, data analytics. And when it comes to interviews and tracking top product based companies for these data roles, you have to be really, really good at the SQL part. It will have somewhere around 30 to 40 percent of weightage in your interviews. But the most challenging part, how to start with SQL, what kind of topics you should actually focus on. And that is why this video is here. So if you are starting with SQL in 2023, then you must follow this roadmap, which I am going to show you in next couple of minutes. And this amazing SQL roadmap, or you can say list of important SQL topics I have prepared based on my personal interview experiences for all tech giants. So watch this video till the very end and start following this SQL roadmap from today onwards. Also make sure to hit the like button for this video so that this video can spread in the data community. Also subscribe to my Hindi channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I have recorded few really amazing vlogs, office tours, which I will be making live on my Hindi channel really soon. And before starting with this roadmap part itself, make sure to rate yourself in the comment section, right? Out of 10, how much would you rate yourself in SQL at this moment? So starting with our roadmap, first thing is very obvious introduction to SQL. Anyone who is starting with it, you need to know what are the very basic, basic fundamentals because it is also a query language. So it follows some standard, it follows some commands, some data type, very specific to different, different databases. So all those things you need to know, DDL, DML, DCL, DQL section, different data types, how to use them, how to declare them. So these are the very basic things about the SQL part. Next is the integrity constraints because when we talk about the SQL and specifically if we talk about the transactional databases, these integrity constraints plays a very, very important role. And when it comes to make our data consistent in the transactional databases, these constraints helps really well. So first is like the key concept, primary key constraint, foreign key constraints. So these are the terminologies as well. You need to know how primary key declared, how foreign key will be declared, how they actually work, what's the need of it. There are other key concepts as well, like the super key, composite key. So you need to know about those things as well. Another integrity constraint like not null, default, check, unique. So these are the integrity constraints. Then the functions part, very common, right? If you are even using any programming language, then you create the functions or you use some inbuilt functions. And in the similar way, SQL being a query language also supports different, different inbuilt functions, which we can use to manipulate our data. So you should definitely need to know how to use it, what different type of functions are available. Obviously, we cannot memorize everything, but most common, whatever we'll be using, you should definitely know about it like the aggregation type of functions, min, max, sum, average, count, date related functions, very important because in our databases, there will be a lots of data sets where you need to play around the dates, calculating the year, month, date difference, all those stuff, you need to know about it. A string related functions, very important. Coalesce function is also very important when it comes to deal with multiple columns who can generate the null values as well. Now let's talk about the data filtration related commands in SQL, which is where clause so you need to know how to apply the where clause how it actually works how it filters the data and most important part how to use different operators in the where clause comparison operators like less than equals to those kind of equality operators then comes to the logical operators part which is very much important and or not like between in not in exist not exist any all is null is not null so these are very frequently used logical operators when it comes to the data filtration part. When it comes to databases, there will be tons of tables and in order to get the insightful results or to make a proper normalized database, there will be multiple tables. So definitely you need to join them at the end if you want to compute something. So you need to know how these different joins work, their trade-offs, how these individual join operation works, how they produce the result, inner join, left join, right join, full outer join, cross join, condition based join operations. So very, very important when it comes to the like SQL queries and interviews, because in interviews, these type of complex queries, you will definitely get where you are joining more than one data set. And before starting the next part, I want to call out really important thing about SQL. 
So if you are a beginner or even you are a professional who want to practice SQL in the practical manner, you will definitely get a really hard time on the internet to find a dedicated resource for you. I have also faced that challenge, but I'm really glad that there is a platform like LearnSQL.com, which is dedicatedly made for the SQL. Thanks to LearnSQL.com for sponsoring this video. This platform has the courses for everyone, beginner to the professionals itself, and they are constantly adding more and more amazing SQL courses. So it doesn't matter whatever you want to learn, it's SQL, Postgres or TSQL, everything is available on the LearnSQL.com. Every course has a free trial part for the users to know how the platform actually works. On LearnSQL.com, most users choose the All Forever plan to access all 68% and upcoming courses. It's the best value for money option to learn and practice SQL. Here you can see the self-explanatory problem statement, including the important concept of that topic first and then practicing the exercises with the realistic data sets and very amazing code editor to practice your SQL questions and you'll definitely gonna enjoy it. So this is a must try platform for anyone who want to start with the SQL and you can get some really amazing benefits. If you will check the link in the description, I have provided it, use this opportunity and be master in the SQL. Now let's talk about the case one statement. So it is equivalent to if else block when we talk about the programming languages. So you need to know how to implement it, how to write it, proper syntax and where you can actually use it. So this part definitely very important where you are supposed to derive new columns, new field based on some logic. Now the group by operation because at the end data analytics is all about analyzing something, right? Producing some aggregated results. So we need to know how to aggregate the data. For that one, we will be using the group by operation. So under the group by operation, there are other concepts as well. Like if we have the group bys, then what kind of uh, attributes we can use, how it actually works, what will be the impact in the final projection, or you can say the final select statement, what all columns you can select there, what not, and the aggregation functions like sum, min, max, average, count, group concat, another important operation roll up very much important i'm not sure how many of you know about it if you haven't heard about it google it right now you will get the idea how roll ups becomes very very helpful when it comes to the group by operations aggregation functions with the case when statement i have faced a lot of queries um, i have faced these kind of questions in my interviews as well where you need to somehow apply the aggregation functions and the group by operation together. And there you also need to bring the case when statement. So ultimately applying those aggregation functions on the case when derived results. Then having clause like filtering something within a group. So that was about the group by part. Next is the order by if you want to arrange your data, final data output in the some ascending order or descending order. So order by gonna be really helpful. Next is sub queries. Next is sub queries because while writing typical or sophisticated SQL logic, you are not just writing one uh, single or exhaustive query. You will be using multiple sub queries and individual sub query is deriving different result, which will be used for further processing. So you need to know how to write those things. Then union, union, all type of operations, how they actually work, what kind of result they produce. Then how to work with views in SQL, how to create it, because this is also very important when it comes to the data privacy part and you are not allowing the accesses to the original table and you want to cater something to the end user, which is relevant to them, right? So views will be really helpful when it comes to these kind of use cases. Next common table expression, again, very, very important common table expression or if you want to give another synonyms to it, so ultimately with the clause. So how to use these common table expressions? There are two types of it, iterative and recursive. Mostly when it comes to the SQL queries, iterative common table expressions we use, but whenever our data is following the hierarchical or parent child kind of relationship and we want to solve on top of it something then recursive ct is going to be really helpful now I'm talking about this section which is the very important highlight of this entire roadmap because when it comes to sql especially for the data professional your interview is not going to be about easy easy medium or till medium level no sql in the interviews is all about easy questions as well medium as well and hard level questions as well so you need to know all those things and window functions actually comes under that part. 
initially it will look difficult but it is actually not when you understand it how it works and that is why i have arranged all these topics in this sequence so if you have the good idea how group buys are working then you will definitely feel confident with the window functions as well so let's see what you need to know in the window functions so over clause how it will be implemented partition by order by then ranking related window functions very important right when it comes to interviews and solving typical sql queries row number rank dense rank then aggregation functions along with the window functions lag lead first value last value nth value end tile this is very much important most of the time i have seen people go through with window functions in sql but they literally forget about like exploring these two sections which is frame clauses in the window functions so these two things row between range between gonna be very helpful while solving these running sum running average weekly monthly yearly running sum average these type of queries and in the interviews definitely you will face these kind of queries which will be mostly solved with the help of the window functions so if you are new or completely beginner into it first just get a good grip on these topics and make sure to practice window functions really really well now next is the pivot tables basically if you have a table and you want to invert it you want to derive something there itself then how you can use the pivot tables part last but not the least and which is sort of a bonus topics right first your priority should be this but now you want to add more and more strength in your sql knowledge then these are the bonus topics which you can definitely cover how to work with the indexing the sharding partitioning replication user defined functions in sql and these are the parts the starting four which are ultimately related to the sql query optimizations as well so this will be a really really great strength to your sql knowledge make sure to go through with it and understand its importance how it is being implemented and how it can be used and the user defined functions if you want to write your custom functions so that was all about this video so that was all about this sql roadmap video and this is something which is going to be really helpful for you in 2023 if you are a beginner you are starting with sql because as a beginner i face these challenges when i was exploring on the internet i didn't get the relevant resources or a list of topics and i know why it will be helpful for you because i have given my personal touch to it so whatever topics those interviewers are actually asking to me i have included those things and closely in my career i have worked with like hundreds of data analysts business analysts bi engineers and i have seen them how amazingly they use the sql part and they are really good at it so i have learned from them as well and i have curated all my learnings here and everything is at one single place in this road map video i hope you will find it insightful if yes then make sure to hit the like button in the big numbers and also if you are liking this kind of content on the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon as well i'll see you guys in the next week with something amazing around the data engineering till then just keep exploring data